Hello, welcome to a new video for TFA Robotics Academy. Um, this video will just go over ball handling in our robot. Um, so as you may know, uh, we just finished the competition. Um, it was last week and we finished first with a perfect score, I believe of nine and zero. Um, we're really proud of what we did. Um, and one of the main things that we did that helped us was our ball handling. And so I think there are two main aspects of the ball handling. And the first aspect is the ball prediction. And then the second aspect, which I'll talk about later, is the ball towards the goal or defending, attacking, that sort of stuff. Um, so I'll begin by going through the ball prediction. So if you can see in this video, um, I've got one robot running right now. Um, it's the this robot right here. And basically, it has a ball prediction algorithm. So what happens is instead of looking at the current position of the ball, it looks at the future position of the ball. And as you may know, right now, there are only there's only one robot going. So what happens is there are different um, techniques that it's doing. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that it's the closest robot. And what happens is it'll be running. Okay, so let's say the ball's moving, and then if I can easily move this, and then we can easily check if the ball and the robot are gonna meet up at the predicted point, which is, in this case, around right here, I believe. So, oh, yeah, so it m met it right at the point. So there, there, there's this problem where you don't, you don't wanna miss it, but you also wanna try to hit it, right? You don't wanna completely never try to hit it, but you've gotta, like, um, estimated, I guess, and what we've been trying to like calibrate and stuff over the past, I guess, two months is to find that balance, right? So I hope you can see like we we have this algorithm, I guess, for the ball prediction. So we look at the x and y GPS values, which are given to us, and we calculate the rate of change, I guess, or the slope. Um, and this can help us like determine how many time steps because it's calculated in time steps the time um, where the ball will end up, right? So when it hits a wall, we also can calculate this. And that's one of the really cool things about this Weebot simulation is that we found that it's not as predictable on the wall. Um, and it's one of the things that um, is really cool. So as you can see in this position, if we go really slowly, the ball is bouncing back, right? And so what we've been trying to do is reflect it, right? Reflect it on the X and Y, and and then it should come back at the same angle. But this is obviously, um, or, or we found that this is not true. So I could show you in this case, let's say the ball is going to hit. In this point, it should bounce back like this. But sometimes it will bounce out like, like this or like this. And we've been having some hard time, like, finding out why or how it is, but we've got a conclusion that it's likely because of um, some sort of um, the wall isn't flat or something like that, and that's really cool. Um, so we've been trying to test it out. Um, obviously, there's a June competition, so we're not exactly sure what we'll be doing for like how we'll edit this. Um, so yeah, the ball handling or like a ball prediction is one of the key key components of our ball handling. Um, technique I guess you could say um, as you can see this robot flipped over um, and it comes back and it goes for the ball again okay so now after I've talked oh yeah so I forgot to talk about this really cool thing we've also been doing is on this corner so on the corner right here you can see that it's a triangle right so what we've, we've been trying to do is calculate the ball prediction along this corner basically and this has proved to be interesting too right so one of the obvious things would be to look if the ball is inside this area and then calculate the angle of reflection or ref or yeah, angle that it comes back out, right? It should be just X and Y flips, right? But that turns out to be kind of off sometimes. We're not exactly sure yet again. So there's obviously gonna be lots of tests going on in the future, but that's been what we've been working on as well, right? The ball prediction along the corner, right? Okay, so now I'll talk about the ball handling um, overall, I guess, in terms of attacking and defending. So as you can see, we're not going in a straight line 
Um, that's one of the key points in our robot. In, in the competition, if I can, I'll show you guys, is that we didn't actually have a, uh, never mind. All right, so in this competition, right, let's look at the um, final match. You can see that our robot against um, SI, SI, like the robotics school makers in the finals, right, in the final match. You can see that our robot doesn't, I guess, go to the straightest line. It goes in a kind of curve or in a weird method, right? Even if we have a ball prediction. And the question is, how did we do this? And that question is answered by our previous video, which we talked about communication, right? And how we have different roles for each robot, right? And so one of the roles is in defending, attacking, um, and ball chasing, basically. And so let me find a good example of this would be around here, right? You can see that this robot is gonna chase, but it's not gonna chase right at the ball. It's chasing behind the ball. And then this robot is chasing behind the ball, right? There, there are a lot of uh, particularities or um, interesting things that we've been doing, I guess. Right? And so the ball prediction isn't exactly um, the same as what you'd expect. And that's to that's to be um, that's that's supposed to happen, right? If you look at a regular soccer match in, let's say, the World Cup, um, you also wouldn't be chasing the ball the entire time. So you would look, you would the it's beyond what you can see, right? The whole whole match, um, yeah. So that's I guess one of the other main focuses that we've been trying to like um, follow is looking beyond the match and seeing what we do in a real life, right? Um, in real life, we wouldn't be chasing the ball in every single step, right? There would be one person attacking sometimes, like this person right here, who's gonna go towards the ball, to the corner of this box, right? And then we've been trying to implement all these sorts of things, and I think that's how we, one of the main reasons we won, actually, right? Um, and so, like, the defending is kind of similar, right? We have a kind of strategy of ball handling where we have two robots that go behind, right? Or in this case, the ball handling is kind of um, where you go behind at a farther distance, or you go out behind at a, I guess a, at a, at a point first and then going behind. So the, there, there are particularities or ideas that we've implemented. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess. Thanks.